Georgia has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Auburn's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23. Fires quickly to the tight end. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a plan. Here's a quick throw. Intercepted. He goes out of bounds around the 42-yard line. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. From the 42-yard line, first down. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws complete. He's got room to work. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball in the 29. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. around the 10-yard line. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down and goal. 10 yards to the end zone. Ready! Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of four on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Roger, Roger. Mike 55, Mike 55. Yeah. 80, 80, 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 
Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. Throws in a hurry. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. Hey, watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Kill, kill! Check, 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 check! They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and eleven. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Slings it. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. Throws it deep. It's the sophomore that's got it. Touchdown. Huge play. What a display of pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And he converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Auburn gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. Excellent pass defense. He's got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Here we go. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll bring up 30 long. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Four down, four down. My five. My five. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Makes it fourth and long. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at the 49-yard line. The Tigers really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Pickup of about seven that time on the screen play. That makes it third and three. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Decent 
decent run here, right side. Tackle made around the five yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Caught open field. Touchdown, Tigers. play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the tent. And he adds the extra point. We played one quarter. Auburn in front, 14-0. They line up to kick this one away. Number three. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. And he throws it away. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tight end right. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. Ready. Red 18. Red 18. Hot, hot. They knock it down. Incomplete. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 25. He's wrapped up for the sack. That is a loss of seven on the play. Fourth down. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at the 41. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Sack on the play. So the sack makes this third and very long. Fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Run there. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second. 
second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Just throws this one away. the stop right around the 40. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. The Tigers' offense today, Herbie, we looked at it all week as being a ground-oriented attack, and I'm a little bit surprised by how they're moving the ball in the air. This has been fun to watch. You're right. I mean, I, I thought we'd come in and see a, a dominant running game, and up to this point, it's really been more about the quarterback and the receivers. And it's almost picked off. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 14. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down. Check, alert, check. Check, 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 check. He fights forward to about the 26. That brings him second and nine. Mike 55, Mike 55. Check, check, check. Check 52. Feeds it to the back. Nice run to the left there. That's good for the game. Seven yards. He has some room. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That's a team of 62 on the way. That makes it first and goal. Mark 55, Mark 55. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Check 52. Tackle around the four yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. His safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. Tackled for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. Under heavy pressure. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. So from a yard out, the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. We're about set to start things up again. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Second down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. They're packed in tight on the line. Here we go. We've got a safety. And that's the danger of being backed up near the goal line. They usually say this about defensive backs, but on offense, you can't let your guard down for a second, especially when you're backed up so close to your own goal line.
Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Auburn's down. You've got to think they're going to be happy. They're almost here at halftime. They've got the lead, and their main guy's not playing very well. Well, to think that they have this lead without him playing well, I think, is a testament to the way they've approached this week. You know, he's he's eventually going to catch fire. I'm sure as they talk to, to one another at halftime, they're probably not going to get too far away from the game plan. Continue to utilize your star player and hope that the others continue to play well in the second half. It's second and nine. Ball on the 34-yard line. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 44. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Passes it, and it's picked out of the sky. Inside the 30. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception, boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. He gets it up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 16-3, Tigers. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This first half could have long-lasting implications not only for this season, but for the career of this coach who's really getting some attention in some big circles, he's going to be a very hot commodity. But it's one thing to do it against the little boy. It's another thing when you come and you pull stunners. I mean, when you beat teams that you're not supposed to beat, that's when coaches make their money. I mean, think about it. It's easy to beat teams that are as talented as you or less talented. But when you go against a team that across the board, the talent discrepancy is in big favor on the other side, and you can get a big W like this, 100%. It's a, it's a highlight on the resume. It's something that coaches and programs or programs that are going to be looking for big-time coaches down the road. They'll be looking for you. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He steps out at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Five, 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 five. 
zips it to the tailback incomplete. the 39 yard line from their own 39 yard line first down they'll drop him for a loss that is a loss of two yards that'll bring up second and 12. to being intercepted. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. They'll line it up again on third down. My five, my five. Ready. Flags at the end. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. The screen is good for four. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he just got stood up right there. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. Kill, 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 kill. Check 30, Check, uh, Makes it out to about the 29. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Big opening. Number 12 with the carry. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Check kill. kill. Check 31, check 31. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Now he's scrambling, looking for the corner, and he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Let's go. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Got it, and he goes down quickly. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive resulted in a punt. So let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of five yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. And he's got the junior. Tackle made at about the 21. Number six makes the tackle at the 21-yard line. That'll make it 39. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First and 10, ball on the 34. There's a strike complete. He's down. That makes it 76. Thunder! 
tackled after a decent pickup. And so it's another third down upcoming here. In the backfield. That makes it fourth and four. And this one is a beauty. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. It's been an impressive game by this defensive lineman. Yeah, Brad, you're right. This guy has just dominated the line of scrimmage today. Well, between the sacks, the knockdowns, and just the overall pressure they're putting on this quarterback, this is going to be a game this quarterback's going to want to forget in a hurry. He's got to get his teammates to help him out a little bit more, bring them back into this. We're about set to start things up again. Him, and there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. it all going deep no incomplete that'll make it fourth down and they're gonna have to punt great hold by the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well so at the end of three the Tigers lead 16-3 We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. run and he's brought down that's good for eight and four yards that makes it second and six from their own 47 yard line second down and they make the stop at the 45 yard line throws this one away so it's second and ten ball on the 45 hey watch 11 watch 11 mike five mike five 319 It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. He flings it. Almost intercepted. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Very good tackle in space. And 
is immediately tackled. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws this one away. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the eight yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it third. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Mike Fox! Mike Fox! Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. End zone, touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 56 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Georgia ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Auburn with a six point lead. Catches it, and that's all. That's a deep five. That brings him second and five. Okay, he's now. Come on, let's roll, let's roll. Two ninety. One three. Three, three, three. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's third and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Oh, excellent punt. Brought down at the 26. George's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Just under two to go in the game. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Sails it long. And got him. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. 
loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. And they get the sack. Georgia's going to use their first time out of the half here. And this is the ball game right here. Here they come. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Under a minute left. Here's the give. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. The Bulldogs are going to have to call their third and final timeout. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good pickup, and with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more times. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. This one's in the books. The Tigers with the victory. 16-10. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Auburn comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.